Hello everyone, Wolfie here back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what their abilities do at level 1. No upgrades, no talents, nothing like that. Just what they do when you jump right into the game. This time we have Rutger. Rutger is a melee frontline character with the tags tank and controller. So kind of similar to Paco, he's kind of about going in and just causing disruptions in the form of hard and soft, uh, soft crowd control. Uh, and he has this unique ability where he just has health bar that's divided into health and shields. And he can use certain abilities to replenish those shields. And there are upgrades that even further enhance that. But that's for a later video. For now, we will go over his stats. Wrecker has 25 armor. And his health is actually divided, uh, like I said, into shields and uh, uh, just a general health pool where it's 1,000 shields and 1,100 health. So he actually has, technically he has the lowest amount of health in the game, but because of that extra shield, he actually has more around 2,100 health. Now, before I get into any abilities, I actually want to go over the shield portion of Rutgers' health uh, in total. So those that don't know, the way that shields work in this game is that it acts as an extra barrier of health, but it's not a one-for-one -one damage absorption. It actually blocks 85% of damage dealt. Uh, that goes to the shields, and then the, the remaining 15% goes to your actual health pool. So if you take 100 damage from one instance of damage, 85 of that damage goes to your shield and the remaining 15 goes to your health. And this is this is post armor mitigation. So it can actually be further reduced because, you know, it'll a, a damage source will calculate your armor and then it'll divvy that up between your shield and your health. But the the way that record shield works specifically is that when he is at full health and so long as he is not taking damage, he will rapidly regain his shields. So this is this is important to know because if if Rucker is, you know, missing a lot of his actual green health, that green health needs to be regenerated first and then the shield begins. Even when he's out of combat, the shield doesn't regenerate. His shield will not his shield will not regenerate at all until you're completely at full actual health and not taking damage. But now let's jump into his actual ability starting with the left mouse button which is called Digging Claws. It is a basic four hit combo uh, in melee range. Each hit does about 160 pre mitigation. And if you have any amount of your shields, whether you have 10 or you have like 950, uh, each attack while you have shields at all restores 10 shields. So this is what uh, this is what it looks like. Just kind of a basic four hit combo. One big swipe, two little swipes, and then a tail slap at the very end. And very very quick attacks that do, uh, do a pretty significant amount of damage. And uh, you'll see if I kind of go over here to the Motiga, start taking some damage, you'll see my you'll see my uh, armor start diminishing and then I'll start hitting. And you can see there's there's a bit of, of a delay for some of the attacks before it upgrade, uh, updates, but you'll see I'm, I'm regaining shields also while losing them because I'm still constantly taking damage. But uh, that's what his LMB looks like. Next, we go to the RMB, which is called Tremors. Hold down your right mouse button to do up to three ground slams that at least shockwaves in a forward line. Each attack does 100 damage and also slows enemies that are in the space for one second. The third hit will push enemies upward and deal 200 damage, which deals its double damage in the first two attacks. And yet again, this is another instance of an ability spell description that reads that it interrupts. It does not interrupt. I, I feel like a broken record at this point, but the only thing that this would interrupt is if the enemy is doing something that requires them to stand still. So please remember that this ability does not interrupt. And it's only the third attack because the third attack is the one that pushes. Otherwise, they're just uh, otherwise it's just a line of damage that does. Yeah, that, uh, slows. But this is what it looks like. You hold it down and then the third attack after a small delay will do that extra damage and push upwards. And it's it's slightly upwards and slightly away from center. Uh, so, you know, you, you kind of have to play with it a bit. But for the most part, it's generally just kind of an upwards push. And uh, this is a, an 11 second cooldown. And it does not matter if you only do one attack or two or if you do all three. It'll be on a it'll be on an 11 second cooldown no matter what. So if I just do the two attacks and not the third, the cooldown remains the same. Next, we will talk about Rutgers Q, which is called Burrow. 
Burrow underground for up to two seconds. While underground, you gain immunity, which means you are immune to all damage, and you restore 150 uh, of your shield instantly. Now, uh, you can also re-emerge uh, within that time frame to, uh, or sorry, if you hit Q again, you re-emerge uh, re and end the ability early. Now, for some reason, this description reads that it does 200 damage. To the best of my knowledge, I've, I've tried this several times off camera. To the best of my knowledge, this ability doesn't actually do damage. There's an upgrade that gives it damage, but the ability on its own does not do damage. So don't be confused by this. Um, I'm not sure if it, you know, there might have been a long time ago where this ability did damage like initially when you reemerged. But it, if, if so, that was a long time ago because I honestly don't remember. But this is what the ability looks like. You press it, you go underground, that bar starts empty, and then when it's full, you pop back up. And it goes on a 16 second cooldown. And again, I've I've tried, you know, using the ability when you uh using the ability when you're in melee range, it doesn't do damage. Like popping up early underneath somebody doesn't do damage. I mean you can use this to uh you know, you could use this to pop back up and then do a jump attack, but the the ability on its own does not do damage. Rutger's last basic ability is called Rock Barrier on his E. Creates a stone wall on the target space for up to two seconds. After two seconds, the wall will crumble automatically, or you can hit the E again uh, within that time frame to cause it to collapse early. Uh, and it's a 16 second cooldown. Now, the you'll you'll kind of see this as you play the game. There are, there are a bit of you know collision bugs uh, with the with this ability on enemies. But generally, for the most part, if you try to summon it like on top or inside of an enemy, the the wall will try to push them upwards and slightly closer to you when it summons. So if I do it this way, you see, Gnosis was bumped by that, but he was pushed kind of generally towards me so that he's in front of it. And that's what it's that's what it's supposed to do. But I have seen several times where the wall will just summon and someone will be stuck inside the wall. Um, and this this blocks line of fire for you know your allies and your enemies. It it it'll it acts literally just like any normal wall. It has collision, projectiles don't go through it, nothing like that. Uh, so kind of use it, use it smartly and and block off choke points and try not to hurt your team. <laughs> try not to you know cause problems for your team in the process. But yeah, you'll see, it just kind of spawns behind him. Or not behind him. It spawns in him and pushes him out. Or you can just spawn it further away. Or you can put it right in front of you. And it'll stay there. And finally, Rucker's focus is called Rock and Roll. Charge before you roll forward after a small delay. Dealing damage and launching enemies that you uh, come in contact with. And while you are rolling, you have increased plus 40 armor. And immunity to crowd control. And uh, immunity to crowd control here is effectively hit reactions. So this would not stop degens. This would not stop something like weakness or slow uh, or cripple. Although I think it doesn't really matter because you're moving so quickly. Uh, but just, just so you know, this is not immunity to all debuffs. This is just hard crowd control like stuns or launch, things like that. Also, the focus points increase the damage of the impact starting at 300 at rank 1, 450 at rank 2, and 600 at rank 3. Now... I don't know if this is a bug or if this is intentional and it's just not on the description. Uh, normally, you're only supposed to be able to hit each enemy once per cast. Like if you if I roll forward into Gnosis and then the Motiga, I'm only doing damage to them once. I, I, it doesn't matter how many times I roll back and forth during the duration. The Gnosis is only going to take damage once. However, if you reach rank two, you can actually collide with every enemy twice. And if you reach rank three, you can collide into, uh, collide into enemies up to three times. And I'm again, I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's the way that it's supposed to work. But I've done it off camera several times. I'm not sure what is actually supposed to happen there. But I, I'm just letting you know that I've had that happen. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Kind of roll forward and then you follow the line. And then afterwards, you just uh, you just go back to normal. But you you deal damage and you launch them, and uh, every enemy that you impact with will be the kind of the same launch duration, same damage dealt. And it's a it's a pretty fun ability, very uh, Sonic the very Sonic the Hedgehog coded. 
but again, with that rank two and rank three, the co the amount of collisions apparently also increases. I again, not sure if that's a bug, but if it isn't, it really should be listed here. So that's it for Rutger. Kind of plays this uh, tank role about the you know about the AOE disruption, kind of similar to Paco and uh, Margrave, uh, and you know the added wall to you know <laughs> to you know reduce sightlines and and cut off escapes. Pretty fun as well. Uh, very bulky, very able to stay in the fight for very long, and he's a lot of fun. But uh, thank you guys for watching, first of all, and be sure to leave comments and like the video if you enjoyed, and share it as well. And have a good day. I will see you guys in the next one.